This is the worst first episode in the, in, in the history of first episodes. <laughs> This Brandon is a little Moore. show trying out called Games and Guns, where we play video games, and then we talk about various crap, and then we shoot guns in real life. Today, we're playing Counter-Strike, a classic, one of my favorite, one of the best first-person shooters of all time. And we've got Brandon Morris of Misfit Politics here with us. How goes How it? How you doing, Brandon? One of the things that one of my uh, pet projects is to go around and censor Counter Strike. Is to clean up clean up the servers. I go around, if I see an inappropriate tag, like in this game, people can like spray pictures on the stuff. Here, see, I just sprayed my own face onto this wall, like graffiti, and they call them tags. <clears throat> and so sometimes tricksters, clever tricksters, they will put inappropriate tags. In there. I get killed by the way, I suck. But they'll put little inappropriate tags. And so I, what I'll do is I'll go around and find one, I'll, I'll spray my tag over it to censor it and preserve the purity of the gaming community. Because the, the gaming community is so pure. Yes. We are Somebody so pure. has to protect them. <laughs> Don't you think? I mean, I, I think I'm doing a public service by, by doing this. But see, it's like a hydra. Way. It's like a hydra, really. Like, you know, you, you cover up one really bad tag and to appear in its place so you have your work cut out for you well it's a never-ending task i'll agree at that but uh yeah i think but it's you'll important. never have nothing to do and that's good by the way my strategy of just running around holding down the trigger is not working out really well just to keep you updated what? on the game i hadn't thought this out or planned it at all but how about mm -hmm. that congressman who wants to uh, screw people. Screw people. Um, All Congress can kind of end up screwing people. This is a good. Honest. That's that is true. It's a good point. But this one wants to do it with no strings attached. He wants. Oh. He wants friends. So with he just wants. He just wants it like a one night thing, and then like no, he doesn't want to call you the next morning. He doesn't want to send you like fundraising emails afterward. He just kind of wants to screw you and be done with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alan Grayson, Congressman from. Can you guess where he's from? By the way, as though you don't already know who he is. Because, because uh, I'm even if I didn't know, this sounds stupid enough to be from Florida. Yes, Florida. Congressman from Florida. He sent out a fundraising email asking people to become his friends with benefits. Oh, you know that makes me think. What? Who in his staff sat back? Because somebody had to know. Somebody in his staff had to know. Who Nothing. sat back and just let that happen? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they just none of them realize what that term means. Even though there was just a whole, they just had two movies made about, uh, you know, they had a movie called Friends with Benefits. With, yeah. With uh, Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. Is this leads up to an important question? Mm -hmm. uh, would you be friends with Benefits with Alan Grayson, Miami? Well, if he asked you. Well, Get out of it. What would I get out of it besides? If he showed up, well, sweet, sweet love from Alan Grayson. Well, I know that, but I mean, like, you know, he's... That's not enough for you. He's No, it's not. I mean, I'm a materialistic person. You know, I'm going to want... You know, love is love Love comes and goes, but, you know, a Ferrari is forever. And, so you uh, want some sort of earmark in exchange for your casual yeah, sex you know, with Alan exactly. Exactly. I, I want to be taken care of. What can Alan Grayson do for me is what I want to know. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, which, uh, which political leader would you uh, have no strings of set, uh, attached sexual liaisons with if you had to choose? If I had to choose, I'd, I'd probably go with Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I he's got that. He's got that uh, Latin, fiery Latin passion, fiery Latin oh. Canadian passion behind him. Of the Latin men in Congress, I don't think Ted Cruz is the most attractive. Let's be honest. Yeah, but he does have a coloring book about him. That's true. Does have a coloring book, and sure I don't know any other congressman that doesn't have a coloring book. I don't know how you, you know? pick. When you're looking for like a sassy Latin man. I don't know how you pick Ted Cruz over. Sassy Latin. Latin. Man. <laughs> As, as we turn this show into like a gay dating advice show, um, 
I'm not sure how you pick tank crews over enemy. Um, Marco Rubio. Let's just be honest with that. Um, well, uh, I, it's it's all it all boils down to, and also he has a bobblehead. You know, it's it's not it's not it's not just about. Is that some sort of music? <laughs> You're sick, man. Might be. You don't deserve Ted Cruz. I don't That's deserve Ted. You don't deserve Ted. Oh, I see. I That's see now. For you. I see now, Steven. This is this is you being. Gen You're trying to convince me not to have Ted Cruz because you want Ted Cruz. You deserve Ted no. Cruz. Is what you no, no, my friend. I think I, that's what you're telling me. I think what I'm telling you is that Ted Cruz is is too good for you, and that it's, okay. it's that's hurt your feelings. It did hurt my feelings a little bit. Shout out to Dan Isett. Hey, Dan. Shout out to Dan Isett. <laughs> you're the one person watching us embarrass ourselves. Who is probably still not? Who is probably not watching now? <laughs> you know what else is embarrassing, Brandon? What's that? Kanye West. Why don't we talk about him now? Take, take that back. I'm sorry. What I meant was that I'm embarrassed that I'm not as genius. much of a genius as him. He embarrasses me with his Just genius. Just That's what I meant to say. Obviously. <laughs> so, oh my god, there's such a thing that His His video is probably one of the more like genius things I've ever seen in my entire life. His, I would say, you know, yeah, I would say, I would say that his new video is bound to make oh. me cry. Uh, we uh, of joy. uh, tears of joy. God, that, <clears throat> that's how I cry. Yeah, it's, well, a, I mean, like he, the song makes zero sense. It's like him while he was drunk writing in his journal, and then he just took it and made a song out of it. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we take a moment to sample Bound to for our audience here? Oh! So everyone can take in the magic. The, the, the majesty. Kanye does not obviously answer to anyone but Kanye. Well, I thought that the part where he talks about Jesus was kind of for himself. Well, I mean, I think he, well, he talks about himself all the time, obviously. Right. And, and deservedly so, so, because he's a genius. Yeah. He invented, what else is there to talk about? Wait, he, this is the man that invented leather jogging pants. <laughs> so, what more can you say about his genius? I don't have anything else to say about his genius. That's just it. I mean, everything that could be said... I'm going to pitchfork it right now. Everything, <laughs> everything that could be yeah, said. Everything that could be said about his genius is, has been said by him about right. his genius. Yeah, so. Right. So turn off the computers. Yeah, everyone shut, shut it, it down. down. We're done. So now that I've died a horrible death very early in this match, yeah. I'm going to reward our audience with a little side by side of Bound to Damn, the Damn, would you roam me, roam me, roam me, roam, think. Hey, you remember when we first met? Okay, I think Seth I Rogen remember is when we first great. met. But yeah. hey, admitting is the first step. If they ever make like a biography of Kim Kardashian, and I know it should be played by a topless second. Yeah, Your friend didn't say that? What kind of friend is that? Oh, I killed a dude. Look at that. Killed Coco. Where's you? Killed like a, a Pomeranian. What should I imagine that? Pomeranian oh. dog. Oh my god. Oh, oh, never mind. Coco the dog is playing Counter Strike and I just killed it. Oh god, there's so many people. No, not good. Very dumb. Have you gotten any kills yet, by the way? I, I can't even play for more than 30 seconds. I got one. I killed a guy. You know what other topic we should randomly start talking about now? Uh, is Obama. And Christmas. You see, because Barack Obama, Mr. President of the United States, he wants you, specifically you, Brandon, to, he called me asking. He wants you to tell your family about Obama during Christmas. When when you're all gather around your, your trash can fire underneath the overpass. <laughs> in my in my hobo world, <laughs> I'm broke. That's ain't just, that broke? That's what I. That's how. That's what I, how I assume you live. I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. There's. You, Barack Obama, you know that everyone has in their family that awkward person. 
Mm -hmm. Right? That person oh, that no. no one likes to be around. That's yeah. That's that, that, a Barack funny. Obama wants you to be that person. I think Barack Obama is that person, too. I think, you know what? That might be the thing. He was a community organizer. Yeah. You know? But at the same time, like, you don't need any more, like, awkward family moments during the holidays. And, like, the White House has asked you to create one more. They want you to be that one person that everyone is like, ugh. It's going to backfire, though, because everyone hates that person. They don't want to talk to them about politics. Exactly. It, that is the surefire way to make sure that no one signs up for Obamacare. Is to get the, get the person that everyone hates in their family to talk about Obamacare. They have effectively shot themselves in the foot. No! No! I died immediately. He shot one bullet at my head. And it... You know you know what would make a great pair? No. Mm. You see this? Mm. And this brings it all together. Uh, if Kanye West, his other, uh, you know, sexcapades could be with uh, Alan Grayson. Oh! Uh, they could become friends with benefits. And then so you're just... at Christmas... Yep. They could talk about about it. You know what that is? I would That's pay to see it. I would pay to see it. Not, not the the uh, Christmas dinner conversation. Not the other stuff. I would pay to never see that. Um, if there was some way to, <laughs> there's some sort of technology that would ensure I would never see the intimate mm -hmm. moments of Alan Grayson and Kanye West. I would pay for that. So that yeah, I mean, we just solved a huge problem on this show. I think and that's what America yeah. needs. <clears throat> is Alan Grayson and Kanye West to become one with each other? Mm -hmm. And then to be the friends with benefits that Alan Grayson seeks, to be the love that Kanye West needs. Yeah. Exactly. That's very poetic. Mm -hmm. I am taken in by your beard. I think that's what it is. People love beards. People stop and stare. Like, you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, my oh, eyes are up here. I'm more, there's more to me than my beard. Not me. I'm just tired of people using That's me for my beard. They just, you know, want to get close to it. Maybe there's more for you, but for me, it's just the beard. That's everything. Well, all right, I lied. I have had women come up to me and tell me that they wish they could have my eyebrows. That is a weird thing. No, wait, really? No, that is a weird thing to come up and say to somebody. Eyelashes, I lied. Oh, eyelashes. I was like... Yeah, eyebrows, that'd be weird. Eyelashes there. I, I was at a subway once. I was at a subway. Woman came up to me. She was standing in line behind me. And she's like, This is true. She literally said, I would kill to have your eyelashes. And I thought, Do you mean you would kill me? And take yeah, that's what I'm like. Who is, she, who is she planning on murdering? I think me. She just said, I'd kill to have your eyelashes. Right. So. My eyelashes. Kill you, you in the end, I suppose. Them. There's only one person you can kill to get to my eyelashes. Kanye West. <laughs> People are tossing all sorts of flashbangs at me, and now I'm dead. Yep. Alan Grayson's tossing flashbang in your way, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about you, if you're still watching this right now. It says that you're a beautiful person. That's what I think. That's that's exactly what I was gonna say. You're a beautiful, loving human being. The bomb got planted, though. Now all the people in this abandoned, I don't know, Greek temple, are gonna die unless meat flaps can save them. <laughs> <laughs> meat flaps is on the way. Have no fear, people. Everyone, of just calm down. Meat flaps is almost there. Oh, they're going. They, oh, they just rushed meat flaps. No, me. He was our last hope. That was it. The torture is over, viewers at home. What a horrible, horrible. That was our first, our first try. One okay, <laughs> I think. I don't know. We, we talked a lot about Kanye West, which is all you can hope for in a show like that. Well, of course. When people tune in to, to watch you shoot guns and in real life and online, they think Kanye West. Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to leave it. We'll, we'll let it go out with some...
What you doing in the club on a Thursday? She said she only here for a girl birthday. They order champagne but still look thirsty. Rock Master P. But just turned 30. Oh. I know I got a bad reputation. Bye, everybody. Walk around always Bye. mad reputation. Well, another technical problem. We should just give up and kill ourselves. Pilot episodes. There's three people watching us. Be retarded.